I'm Namir Anani, President and CEO of the Information and Communications Technology Council. We are a center of expertise and leader in Canada in ICT research and associated labor market intelligence. Through our primary research and strong network of partners from industry, academia, policymakers, as well as international, ICTC develops policies and enables programs to empower industries to maintain a strong competitive advantage in this global environment while nurturing Canada's innovative talent. Despite a challenging global economic environment, the information and communications technology sector in Canada remains resilient in its ability to create jobs and economic growth, a sector that now spans across multiple facets of our daily lives, including work, business, learning, leisure, and health. Our latest December 2011 Labour Market Intelligence Report points to a jobless rate of 3% for ICT workers, which is significantly below Canada's average unemployment rate of 7.5%. The ICT sector boasts a contribution to GDP of approximately 5%, which is equivalent to $60 billion annually. This value to the Canadian economy is, however, much greater when you factor in those ICT workers in other sectors of the economy, such as finance, health, manufacturing, and public administration. The relentless pace of technology and consumer expectations is rapidly changing the ICT sector. In the next five years, a whole new breed of technologies and related services will dominate the ICT landscape, spanning primarily three key areas, the mobile arena, cloud computing, and the creative online content. These segments will potentially have the greatest contribution to the economy and will require fast tracking as part of the digital strategy. We estimate that by 2016, approximately 106,000 ICT jobs will need to be filled in Canada, with a demand for critical jobs that far exceeds the supply in both traditional and emerging ICT industries. Therefore, our ability to prepare tomorrow's workforce and nurture innovative talent will be vital in ensuring Canada's competitive advantage in an increasingly global, connected, and fast-paced environment. Among the prerequisites for success will be preparing young graduates for new business paradigm and accelerating their integration into the industry, encouraging all potential human capital resources in Canada to partake in ICT, including women, which represents more than 52% of the Canadian population, Aboriginal talent, Canada's fastest growing youth demographics, and accelerating the recognition of internationally educated professionals' accreditations. Furthermore, enabling research and innovation funding in academia to create the next generation of industries. I look forward to engaging you in further dialogue over the coming months and exploring the necessary catalysts to empower the ICT workforce and innovative talent in our digital economy.